Hola, hola, I hope you're doing great. I love this time of the year because we can see how much you have learned during the year. Uh, we tell stories, we read books, and we see how much you have learned. These last weeks, we have been learning, practicing opuestos. And those are words that we practice in, in class, so I just put them together like blanco and negro, but then we say hola and adios, grande and pequeño, arriba, abajo, rápido, despacio, feliz, triste, caliente, frío. I'm going to show you some pictures so you remember. La jirafa is grande, big. The ants are pequeño, small. The hormigas. We have la luna and the estrellas están arriba. The crab, el cangrejo, vive abajo, el agua. El gato va rápido. La tortuga va despacio. El sol está caliente, it burns if you touch it. El helado está frío, frío. Then we have, el cochino está feliz, feliz, because he has a balloon verde. But the balloon exploded, so now el cochino está triste. And those are the opposites. We are going to practice them in this a story that I'm going to tell you and we're going to practice many things we have learned during the year. The story I'm going to tell you today is the story of La Niña del Pelo Amarillo y Los Tres Osos. Do you know which one is that one? You know it in English, but this is my own version in Spanish. Let me move this so you can see the whole thing. Okay? This is my own version. Gonna put oso papa, oso mama, y oso bebé. Everything that belongs to oso papa is grande and azul. Everything that belongs to oso bebé is pequeño and verde. And everything that belongs to oso mama is rojo. Uh, one day, los tres osos were in their casa, and then oso mama prepared a delicious sopa and she put some agua and vegetales and she made a sopa mm, mm, mm. smells so good but then when they try it it said está caliente we cannot eat the soup like this so what did they decide they decide to go for a walk in el bosque while la sopa gets nicer to eat so also mama also papa also mama y also bebe went for a walk. Meanwhile, in the other side of the forest, there was la niña del pelo amarillo that just moved to the other side of the forest. And she was playing outside and she was playing and then she saw a beautiful mariposa. She saw a beautiful mariposa and she started following la mariposa and guess what? When she was following la mariposa, she got lost. Her mom told you, pay attention, we just moved to this casa and you don't know the area, so be careful. But she got distracted following the beautiful mariposa and she got lost. La niña del pelo amarillo was this close to start crying when she saw the beautiful casa Amarilla. La casa amarilla tiene una, dos, tres ventanas azul. Tiene una puerta rectángulo morada. And the roof is un triángulo. She loves the casa and she gets close to the house and she knocks la puerta and nobody answered. Then she decided to open la puerta and enter the casa. <gasps> do you do that? Never ever do that. You never enter a, a house, a casa that is not your casa for two important reasons. One, 
if you don't know who lives there, you don't know if the person that lives there is not a good person. So maybe you're not safe if you get, get in. And the second one is like, would you like somebody to enter your casa and play with your juguetes without asking you permission for it? But she was so worried, so worried that she was lost that she didn't think about it. And she entered La Casa. Then she enters La Casa and she says, Hola, hay alguien ahí? Somebody there? But then she didn't see anybody. But then she smells something delicious. Y su estómago start growling. <clears throat> she said, I'm starving. Then she goes and she tries la sopa de oso bebé in el bowl azul. And she said, ay, está caliente. I burned my tongue. But then she tries la sopa de oso mamá. And she says, está fría. I don't like cold soup. But then she tries la sopa de oso bebé. And she said, perfecta. Just the way I like it. And guess what? She ate it all. Then she saw tres sillas. Una silla grande, una silla mediana, y una silla verde. She sits in la silla verde, and the silla, the rocking chair started going uh, rápido. She was going back and forth, back and forth. She jumps out of the silla, and she said, that's too dangerous. I'm going to get hurt. I don't like that silla. Then she sits in la silla roja, and la silla roja was going this and she said, boring. I don't like this silla. Then she sat in la silla pequeña, la silla de oso bebé, and she said, the, the silla start going back and forth, back and forth. She said, perfecto, just the way I like it. But guess what? She was too grande for that silla pequeña. She broke it. She said, oops, then she started getting sleepy and she decided to go arriba. She decided to go arriba. Arriba, she found una, dos, tres camas, tres camas, una cama grande. And she sat in la cama grande and she said, oh my goodness, the cama is dura, hard. I don't like it. Then she tried la cama de oso mamá, la roja, and she said, ooh, muy suave. I don't like it. But then she laid down in la cama verde, la cama de oso bebé, la cama pequeña, and she fell asleep. Meanwhile, oso papá, oso mamá, and oso bebé came back from their walk. And then... When they were getting close to la casa, they realized that the door was slightly open. Also, papa asked also mamá, did you close la puerta? And also mamá said, I closed it, but I didn't lock it. So he said, let's go in. He's a also grande and he's strong. He, sh he should have called the police, but he decided to try it, okay? so. They, very careful, the three of them, enter la casa. And then they see around. And also papa said, hey, somebody try my sopa. And then also mama said, hey, somebody try my sopa too. But then also bebe start crying. He was triste, triste, triste because he said, somebody not only try my sopa, but they ate it all and he cried he was triste and also mama said it's okay don't be triste i have more sopa in the kitchen then he was feliz again but then also papa said hey somebody sat on my silla and also mama said hey somebody sat on my silla too and then also baby start crying and he said oh, somebody not only sat on my silla they broke it and he started crying and being sad. And also papa, papa said, don't worry. I have more wood in the garage and I can fix it. And he says, gracias, gracias, gracias. But then they decided to go arriba de la casa. But we have to be very, very careful. And they went upstairs. And then also Papa said,
she's still here, no! And then la niña del pelo amarillo walk up and she says, sees tres osos around him and she starts screaming, ah! And she runs, runs, runs downstairs, abajo, and she goes abajo, and she goes out of the gas, and she runs, 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 crying, ah, screaming. And then, guess what? Her mama was looking for her. And she said, oh, mama, you don't know what happened. And mama said, mm, mm, mm. What you did was not nice. Uh, we have to do something to fix this. Then after a few days, la niña del pelo amarillo prepared some brownies de chocolate. Mm, mm, mm. And she went with her mama and she knocked at la puerta again. And then also mama opens la puerta and she says, yes. She said, hi, do you remember me? And they said, yes. She said, I came here to apologize. I should never ever have entered your house without your permission. Eat your soup, sit on your silla or stay in your cama. I want you to forgive me and I would love to be Osos Bebe Amigo. Then they say, okay, everybody can make a mistake. We are happy, we're feliz that you came back. And also, Bebe will love to be your amigo. So, from that day on, also Bebe y la niña del pelo amarillo started to be best amigos ever. The end. Do you like my story? I love this story and I love that it has a feliz ending. I hope you enjoy it too. Now, I'll see you next week. We are going to sing our adios song. Enjoy, and I hope you practice all your Spanish with me today. Adios means goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Adios means goodbye. Adios, amigos. Hasta luego. See you later, see you later, see you later. Hasta luego, see you later. Hasta luego, amigos. See you next week.